we've restored the image and good name of Antigua and Barbuda. I think restored a sense of pride. Those are not things you can touch or feel, but they are very, very meaningful and you can't pay for them. My party, the United Progressive Party, clearly has a vision for Antigua and Barbuda. My constituents have been able to benefit from the government's job program. They're beneficiaries of the infrastructure development, they're beneficiaries of school uniform, the computer tablet initiative. I am proud of what the government has done in my constituency. They have not had any record of laying off anybody during these hard economic times. I'm very happy that they've been able to keep social programs like the school meal programs and the uniform grants and very proud that um, in the last 10 years they've had a, approximately 3,000 scholarships across Antigua and Barbuda. We've been able to stabilize the economy, we've been able to bring the debts of this country under control, we've been able to have international community. We guard Antigua now, not as a pariah state, but a well-meaning and well-participating country in the world economy. And we are now able to access all sorts of loans and grants from first world institutions, an achievement which was not available on the Antigua Labour Party because of the corruption within that regime. I am proud that the Spencer administration has been able to maintain employment for all public sector workers improve social programs, develop new programs designed to assist the most vulnerable in our society, being the elderly, the disabled and disenfranchised, and children. We have been able to address the plight of the pensioners and increase minimum pensions and ensure that our pensioners are well looked after. The United Progressive Party has a vision for this country. Today I stand here very proud of the amount of young students who have been able to go overseas to study, who otherwise never got scholarship. No one in my constituency in the last 50, 60 years under the former government ever got a scholarship to go and study. We have close to 40 students from Erlings to Bolands went overseas to study. We will continue to work with our young people to create opportunities of work and education for them. My party has a vision for this country. We have been able to manage this economy and keep the ship afloat in spite of all the global economic recession and other factors that impinged on this economy. The United Progressive Party has been successful in doing so. We are committed to ensuring that we give our young people the necessary tools, education, the skills, and to make sure that they grab hold of opportunities when they come their way. It is God's guidance and God's vision and grace, really, that has brought the United Progressive Party through 10 challenging years. And I do believe that it, with God in the vessel, we certainly will continue to smile at the storm. I first met Baldwin Spencer somewhere around 1980, where he was the union representative for my workplace. I admired him dearly for his leadership skills, for his tenacity, and for his honesty. I first met Baldwin Spencer in 1996. I found him to be sincere, honest, family-oriented, and committed to the cause of redeeming Antigua and Barbuda and building a life which all of us can endure. I had the privilege of, uh, in our early campaigns in 1999, prior to the 1999 election, to go on a walk with the Prime Minister and Baldwin Spencer through the market. And it was immediate, his connection with the people in his area. And it's, uh, it's something that I will always remember. The Baldwin Spencer has a knack of communicating and reaching and meeting people. And that is always impressive. I first met Baldwin Spencer years ago when we used to be in the Panyard. I was a member of Ebenezer Steel Band at that time and um, he used to come around. I saw him as a humble person, you know, he usually come around and give whatever support he can to the boys and the block. And since then we have been admiring him and I think that he's a great leader. But leadership matters in Antigua, where people have to aspire to become leaders. You don't come leaders overnight. You have to 
learn certain basic things you have to respect people and the most of all you have to love people and love what you're doing i first met baldwin spencer in the late 80s early 90s as a member of the antigua football association and i was very impressed with him because a certain level of respect everyone had for him and every time there was a problem he was called in and he was able to solve those problems and he was always a man of the people and i see him in the same vein even today he is humble and he brings that level of respect wherever he goes what impressed me about Baldwin Spencer was his strong leadership qualities, his fortitude, the way he stood up to V.C. Byrd and the then Antigua Labour Party, articulating and verbalizing the concerns of Antiguans and Barbudans. He was fearless, he was fulsome, he was very, very candid in his criticism of the Antigua Labour Party at the time. And I stood apart and, and said, there is a leader that I admire. There is a leader that I believe would run Antigua and Barbuda and who had a vision for Antigua and Barbuda. I met Baldwin Spencer when he was a member of the UNDP and I was a member of the ACLM and we worked together on several projects. In fact, I was a teacher when we first worked together that was during the teacher struggle in 1978-79. I like Baldwin a lot because I find him a real sort of person. What you see is what you get. He's humble and he tries to fulfill whatever promises he makes. I find him the sort of person that you can talk to. He's very reasonable. He's not arrogant. And I think all of those things come for um, a good leader. In fact, I would say he's a very good listener. And you know, there's a phrase, listening for a change. And I think the sort of change that we've been able to bring about in Antigua and Barbuda is largely because we have a prime minister who listens. And so he has listened for a change.